My name is Chris Benpiri. I'm a university lecturer. I work at the Chino University of Technology. Yeah, I'm actually an ecologist, aquatic ecologist. I previously worked for the Department of National Parks and Wildlife, uh, but uh, some 10 years or so ago, for three years. Um, and as an ecologist, uh, doing the wildlife, aquatic, uh, fisheries, I got involved in, within the NDS, last NDS uh, formulation. I was basically looking at broadly, largely aquatic biodiversity, although I did obviously stray into the other fields. So the biodiversity mainstream in stock taking involved basically getting all stakeholders as many as possible together in a workshop and trying to get input from them. What are the issues? What are the challenges? What are the constraints? What can we do with regards to biodiversity? And, and that was basically what we did uh, within a workshop scenario. The results of the biodiversity uh, stock taking was, uh, it was Broadly, that with regards to Zimbabwe, in terms of our policies, we, we are all right. In terms of, if you look at our policies, you look, review our policies, there is an aspect of environment custodianship, environment custodianship and biodiversity, um, conservation management. The issue is implementation, because largely I think the lack of resources is what our major challenge is. So even in terms of our major current uh, development plan, which is the Zimbabwe Agenda for Sustainable Social Economic Transformation, uh, biodiversity is mentioned, or environmental management is mentioned, or conservation. And the, the, the challenge we are having as, as a people is implementation. How to get from the books, from the papers, onto the ground. We've got that, that serious challenge in terms of resources. So that was the, the, the major, major outcome from there. I think over the next year, I think we need to get together again as a group. We've been talking as a group and say, to get together as a group and come up with a program that just identifies how, what you can do at the level of um, institutions. Uh, at the moment, it's there are institutions that are basically like custodians of this. At the level, what can be done, beginning of interactions among themselves, uh, the process of getting together and talking, because one of the aspects we found was just there's this a bit silo mentality. People working in different areas without strong coordination and strong linkages. That's what we, we are targeting at the moment. I think it's not very ambitious, but I think it's a start which would take us somewhere in the long run.